Hello everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be showing how you can change the frame on the Beta FPV Air 75. So I've been flying this around for a bit and it's incredibly durable, although it doesn't mean it's indestructible. I crashed into a tree like when I was going really quickly. So I've got a crack here and a crack here, which is basically just means there are more vibrations when I'm flying. So you do want to change the frame if there are cracks in it. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So you can buy replacements, uh, replacement frames, uh, which I'll link in the description. I got mine from Beta FPV directly because I find they're the cheap, often the cheapest and most reliable people to get them from. So I've got the S75 frame replacement here. I got it in blue because that's the one they had in stock. You also need a 1.5 millimeter Phillips head screwdriver. And I just found this one so I'll be using this one and then I'm using the box the drone came in to store the screws after I've like, unscrew them so I don't lose them and then obviously you need the drone that you want to repair. Now before we start you want to make sure your battery is removed so we don't risk damaging it and you want to really be careful not to lose the screws as ordering replacements would just be time consuming and a waste of time so look after the screws carefully. So when I do the frame replacements, I normally undo the motor screws first. So there are three motor screws on each motor, so in total 12 screws. And you can undo them just by using the screwdriver. So I'll do that now. Now when you're undoing the motor screws, you want to make sure to not undo one of them fully and then do the other ones. So I normally do undo one around 50%, then undo the others to 50%, and then fully undo all of them. So that's done now. So to get the screws out of the plastic, they don't fully unscrew, so you have to pull them out with the fingernails. So that's one motor done, and I just leave it hanging there. So now the other three. So I've now done two of the motors, so two more to go. Okay, so that's all four motors undone. You can see they're all just hanging here. Now there are four screws holding the canopy and the flight controller down. So there is one here, one here, one here, and one here. But before you unscrew those, I would strongly recommend you undo the UFL connector here. So I'm just gonna put a screwdriver below. And just lift it up like that. It's a bit finicky, but you can get it undone like that. Just get that undone so when you take the canopy off it doesn't rip it off. Now these four screws are same size screwdriver but I would do them opposite sides first. So I'd do the right one and then the left one and then so on. So the right screw down. Now, I just realized that when I was flying it, I must have crashed really badly because the canopy is actually snapped and I don't have a replacement canopy and that won't arrive for another few days. So I'm going to finish the repair, but I'm going to put in the faulty canopy. But then when you do yours, just if your canopy's broken, put the replacement canopy in so I can take that off now. So now that this is all undone, you can, everything's kind of just being held on by friction. So I'll start by threading all the motors through the holes like that. And just being careful not to like pull the motor connectors off. So just thread those through like that. Go on, 
that's done now. I'll pop out the flight controller. Now those are all undone, you want to thread your motors through hit this hole, which can be quite difficult. There we go, and there's one. Done. You've got the full electronics of all the of the complete drone like that. So now you're ready to get your replacement frame. So this is the replacement frame. It comes in this box. And you just want to open it up. So it just pops open. Uh, these we won't be using. So the motors have already got metal ones. Or we don't need the spaces on. So we're just going to put it directly on the frame. Okay. So the orientation does matter for this step. So one side of the frame has this triangle, and that's the back of the frame. So you want to put it like that, where the back motors go there, the pigtail connector goes out the back, the front motors go out there, and the canopy is facing forwards. Like so now you want to basically do the reverse of what we just did. So first thread the motors through here, and thread them back up through here. So now they're like that. That's one motor thread through. This part's pretty finicky because so the motors get caught on stuff. So ideally you take the propellers off here, but I never take the propellers off because they're not broken. I don't want to take them off just to put them back on. Now this same side goes under here. connector goes down through here. Now front motor goes through here like that. And then back up through here. This motor goes down through here and back up through here, like that. Perfect. So now all the motors are back in where they're meant to be. You can push the flight controller down so it's being friction fit in. And then now we have to screw all the motors in. So to do this, what I'll do is I'll get the screwdriver, put the screw on the tip. Then you have to, here you have to make sure the motor's wires are still twisted because if they're not twisted they could get caught in the motion and get cut up, which would be really annoying to fix. So make sure they're twist, quite relatively twisted. Put that through there, find the motor, screw it on. And then repeat that 12 times. So when doing this I'm not fully tightening them, I'm just getting it in so they grip a little bit, but then not fully tighten them, I'll tighten them all at the end, all of all 12 at the same time. So that's one motor done, next motor, make sure it's properly twisted, and then make sure the, like, where the motor wires come out is on the shortest side to get to the flight controller, otherwise it could get caught in the propellers again. So 
it's another motor done. So you just flip it over, make sure the wires aren't. You don't want them to be too tight to the point where they might snap, but you don't want them to be able to bend up into the propeller. So yeah, that's good. That one's good as well. So you want to make sure that's flat when you tighten it, otherwise you could end up stripping the inside of the motor case, inside of the motor mount. So that motor down, final motor. This one's unraveled quite a bit, so I'm going to ravel it up more. Like that. Well, that there. Okay, so now all the motor screws are done. There, 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 there. So I'm going to tighten them all up. So you don't want to over tighten these, but you also don't want them to be loose. Just checking if all of them are tight, which they seem to be. Try and wiggle the motors, they shouldn't move at all. So that's good, We've done that. So now we're pretty much done. Now we just have to attach the canopy back down and the flight controller back down. So for me, that's because this part snapped off, I'm not going to bother reattaching it here because it won't support anything really. So the drone will still fly without that part, although the camera will move more. So there's nothing to stop it from bending more. So ideally you'd have a replacement canopy, but I don't, so I'm gonna make do. So for this I often do the side these two side ones first, so they're the easiest to do. So that's you have to be very careful here, and I mess that one up because you don't want it to launch. This, this acts almost like a spring, and it can launch your screws. And I lost one when I was doing a frame replacement the other day. I lost one in the carpet, and that was a nightmare to find. So now I'm a bit more careful. So you want to make sure that's going in straight, but don't fully tighten it yet. We can do that at the end. And the other side. Beta FPV has done a really good job at making this repairable as it's just one screw, from, uh, one screwdriver size for the whole thing. So it's incredibly easy to fix. That side's done. Now on the back you can pick your motor, your camera angle. But I do a lot of indoor flying so I keep it as low as possible. So 30 degrees with this one. So for this I would recommend tightening it through the thing fully, through the hole you want fully and then lowering it down and screwing it in. And this one you want to be quite tight as it makes sure the camera is angled correctly. Now you can tighten these two. Like that's really tightened. That's fully tightened. This one should also be fully tightened now. Yeah. Now, normally you would have done this one as well when you did the back one, but that snapped off. Just imagine I tightened that in. And your drone's done and ready to fly again. I almost made a mistake with this very crucial step, but you want to really make sure you plug this antenna back in, otherwise you can fly, fry your VTX. So you want to make sure it's properly aligned, just using your fingers, or in my case, I'm gonna use a screwdriver and my fingers, and then make sure it's properly aligned. And then you can just push it in. Like that, and you should hear a click. It means it's in properly, and then it's done. Okay, I'm just going to prove now that it works. So I've got the drone here, I've got my controller here. See if it still flies properly. Still flies perfectly fine. No vibrations anymore. Good as new. Perfect. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video very much and you found it useful. So I haven't really found many other tutorials on YouTube on how to do this. Uh, so yeah, that's how you fix the Beta FPV S75 if your frame is broken. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, like and subscribe and comment if you have any other questions and I'll probably answer them. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. I forgot to mention it earlier in the video, but I only have the S75, but this tutorial will also work with the S65, as they're pretty much the same apart from the size of the frame. 
all the screws are in the same place, etc. So this would also work.